This episode is brought to you by the Mumu Investing app. Use the link pinned to the top comment to get up to five free stocks plus one free share of Lucid Motors. Again, we do not leave free money on the table. If you want to support the channel and get some free stocks while you're doing that, hit that link in the top comment. But let's talk about the beast, the big dog, the banger. I'm talking about AMC Entertainment, ticker symbol AMC. And I am not telling you to buy hold or sell. I'm just here to give you the facts and you be the judge. Now, the SEC, the Security and Exchange Commission, quiet as it's kept, they really consider the retail investor, the everyday investor, as what you would call a dumb investor. Now, institutions even call us dumb money. They think we do no research. They talk down on us as if we don't do any research. And why. I got something for you right here. I clicked it, but let me just keep it going. Gary Gensler, who is the leader of the SEC, he just posted this video. And let me just read the tweet to you at first before I get into that. So the tweet says, I read some tweets wishing that SEC.gov, which are the regulators of the stock market, like I always tell you, they're the alphabet boys. We have the FBI, right? We have the CIA, but on the stock market, we have the SEC. They're supposed to regulate and protect the retail investor, the institutional investors, but we know that the tables are tilted in the favor of the elite. Now, he said this, I've read some tweets wishing the SEC moved a bit faster. He said, good public policy takes work including hearing from the public. So they're saying that they're hearing from the public, but let's check this out for ourselves. And you could see how, in a way, and remember, these are the people who are supposed to be running the stock market overall. But again, they're taking you for a fool, nope. if you Can't ask me. That one out so let's loud. check this out. So I've never been asked to come on Jimmy Kimmel Live, but I wonder if he'd have me on if I read some mean tweets. <laughs> Can't read that one out loud. Not that one either. Okay, here's one. All talk, no action. Okay, could be worse. Here's another. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, here's one more. SEC at work with a gif of a tortoise walking really slowly. Wait, wait, is it pronounced gif or jif? Anyway, I'm starting to see it. So we're not even done with the video, but I just got to comment on this. You can see how they're editing the video up, how they're trying to be really lighthearted and play around as if you are a child that they have to keep entertained while they are trying to give you information regarding on all of the excuses as to why. They have not done anything in terms of protecting the retail investors, why they haven't done really anything beyond fines of people taking away buy buttons. But you know what? Let's keep it going and let's hear the excuse for ourselves. Let's hear it. Theme here. In fact, I've noticed that a lot of folks on Twitter wonder why the Securities and Exchange Commission proposes so many new rules rather than simply pass them. I'm passionate about reforming our markets so that they work best for you, the public. But you see, there's a law we rely on to go through a process. It's called the Administrative Procedure Act. The this Administrative Procedure Act, a.k.a. The excuse why they're not making moves act. This is the excuse that they're trying to lean on. And whenever they are taking their time, their sweet time, and I'm talking about getting all of the trades that we make back onto the lit exchanges, what do they fall back on? They say the Administrative Procedure Act. Oh, this is why we're not doing it, right? So we got to understand that if we want something done, what the SEC is now telling us is that they're just going to fall back on what? The Administrative Procedure Act. Oh, no. We, we working. We're working. This is what they're telling us. We're working our best. We're trying our best. However, there's this law that we got to listen to. Now, remember, when the SEC has to fine and send fines for certain things, oh, they get that stuff done. But when they want to have a policy be either put into place or all of these, listen, they tell you, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're just waiting for this law. Right. But I promise you, if it was impacting the institutions, the people who are the elite in the world, this would happen almost overnight. Let's keep it going. Let's watch the rest of the video. Agencies like the SEC can develop new policies. So how does it work? Well, you might recall the schoolhouse rock song. I'm just a bill. Well, this is a little bit different. 
Congress gave certain authorities to the SEC and other agencies, and regulators can make proposals, but we get feedback from the public and develop finer rules that stand the test of time. For example, SEC staff. So they're saying on- that they're waiting to get feedback from the public on some of these things. So not only is it them slowing it up, they're just waiting for you to go and respond and say you like this thing or not. Keep in mind, the SEC is on Twitter. Gary Gensler, who is basically the chair, the leader at the SEC, he's on Twitter. People have been contacting them time and time again, giving them all of the feedback, literally exactly as to what they want and what they want to hear. To the point that he even sees and reads some of the tweets. You see how he was reading them in the beginning. But you understand this. They're trying to shift the blame. When you really look deeply at that. And a lot of people are going to miss that. Who watch that video. They're trying to shift the blame. And saying at the tail end of this. The public gives us feedback. And with that feedback. We make new laws. And without that feedback. Hey. It is what it is. You're just going to have to wait. Because. You know what? We're sitting behind this law. Hey, you know what? You'll be all right. Now, while this is happening, and they're blaming you, (laughs) they're blaming you on everything. Take a look at this. Bloomberg just said the security or Citadel Securities and Virtue Financial, which are some of the biggest market makers in the game, are building crypto or cryptocurrency trading platforms along with the retail brokerage Fidelity and Charles Schwab. So now Citadel and Virtue are in the background, supposedly working against each other because they're competitors, but some might argue that they're working together. They own about 70% of all of the order flow from retail investors. And I got I got the receipts on that. The 44% of stock trains happen off the exchanges, 70% of that with Citadel and uh, Virtue. And I'm going to ask uh, Professor Jackson for comments on the record uh, regarding that as might. It's crazy, family. It's getting real crazy. It's getting spooky. It's getting nasty. We see that the Security and Exchange Commission, they're telling us, long story short, the reason that we're not getting any change on the stock market is because there's a law they have to fall back on. And at the end of the whole process, they get feedback from the public and the fact that you are not going through the channels that they want you to go through to contact them. You're slowing up the process, allegedly, supposedly, hypothetically. I wanted to share that with you just so you could know what's going on in this world and how it is being tilted toward those who are elite and you are not invited to that party as simple as that baby but if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks and stay out of the kitchen then you're invited to my party but the elite thinks you're not invited to theirs so consider investing in index funds according to them i love y'all take care